So we are on uh, part three of lesson seven, intellectual property and images. This is the computer science one discoveries uh, portion of code.org. And again, we're talking images. Let's look at lesson seven, part three. What do we have here? Instructions, images, a dog versus cat webpage has been started for you. Ooh, uh, historically important fight. The dog image has already been added to the below web page. Use an image tag to add the cat.jpg image to the page below the cat heading. Ah, all right. This icon means that this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across all of these levels. Oh, cool. I think what they're saying there is that we're slowly building um, a site through each of these little parts of the lesson, maybe? I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna hit X. All right, so I need to use an image tag to add the cat dot, okay. Well, let's look down here. How are they adding the dog? All right, so here are our file names. So the name of my dog picture, and if I click over here, it will even show me. This is like a file, a folder on a computer. That's where my pictures are being stored. And look, this is the text document or the HTML. That's the text of the website too. Websites are actually stored like this. So that is what we have there. Now let's go back to this text. We have img src equals dog.jpg alt dog jumping. Okay, and we've already learned somewhat about this. That stands for source. We need an equal sign. We need it in quotes. And notice that dog, D-O-G dot J-P-G is exactly the same as this right here, D-O-G dot J-P-G. If it was different, I just want to show you this. Let's say I want to do dog with a capital first letter. I mean, it's the same, wait, and there it goes. It disappears on us. It can't, it has to be perfect. Or let's say I do this. I just mix up SCR. I do this all the time. Nope, there goes our image. These tags are super picky. Computers are dumb, humans are smart. We have to tell it exactly what we want it to do. Otherwise it doesn't know. So what we want to do first is add this cat image. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, all right, so I think we're going to add it below this like they did below dog. So I'm going to hit enter, enter, and uh, oh, I added, you probably, well, I know you don't have this. I added a snake image myself. I'm going to use that later on. Don't worry about that. Here's our cat image. All right, so let me look what they did up here. I'm going to start writing. So a less than sign, IMG SRC equals, in quotes. Whoa, what happened? Did it just do it automatically? In quotes. And then I'm going to start writing cat. Notice right here, notice that it's already filled. It. It's saying, hey, do you mean this? Now, I think I can just click and it will appear there. You could also hit the enter key when that pops. Then we know this is exactly the same as this file name. So it should actually work well once we're done with the tag. Also, look at this. This suddenly turned pink. Body turned pink, right? It wasn't like that before. Let me just, I'll show you. Cut. Hey, look, now it's not pink. Boom. The reason it's turning pink is the code is telling you, hey, up here, up here, there's an error somewhere. We're not getting down to here. And the error is, well, we haven't finished this tag. So they did their tag on two lines. I'm just going to do it on one. Alt equals, oh, they said dog. Ooh, that needs to be an equals. And then uh, in quotes again, they said dog jumping. I just know this is a cat. So I'm going to say cat. Yep, cat. <laughs> I guess that's it. And then slash and greater than sign. Make sure you close these tags, OK? So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Perfect. If this didn't pop for you and you know you have the exact same thing, sometimes you got to click refresh and save for the computer to get updated and say, hey, oh, and there it is. Excellent. So let's now go ahead and move on uh, to the next part of this lesson.